Good morning. I've got a little project that's going to be satisfying, I do believe. Now, I picked up this Yamaha digital piano yesterday at a thrift store for a good price. The person who sold it to me said it works great 100%, everything is A-OK. -okay. Well, get home and find out that the display is kind of weak on it. But, I can live without the display. But listen to this. Some people might not notice that. And if I even played this in the thrift store, which I didn't, I might have missed that. So, we're going to fix A, and I'm going to do it today, and I'll show you how to do it in case you have a similar problem. First job will be to set everything up. I'm going to spread out something on the floor. I'm going to take this apart, and then I'm going to see what we're dealing with. Basically, what you do to take it apart is remove all the screws underneath, and they're going to be about 30 or 40 of them, I do believe. There were four screws that attached the keyboard to the stand. I unscrewed those, placed them in a safe place right there, And now I'm ready to turn this keyboard over and start unscrewing. Well, today is the day that my electric screwdriver is going to pay for itself in one go. There are dozens of screws holding this down. And I think that this is going to be the big part of the job. Just taking out those screws and being sure not to lose them. So what I'll do is I'll take them out and place them in some kind of order so I won't lose them. Well, I've got the cover off. There were about 58 screws, I think I counted. And it takes a lot longer than you think to take 58 screws out. This helped a little bit, but some of the screws are recessed, and you need a screwdriver that is long and narrow like this one. And I'm happy to have found this, or I would have taken even longer. Um, it would have been real handy to have a magnetic tip on your screwdriver as well. That would have helped. So just figure that that's probably going to take most of the time put it, taking out the screws. I don't think putting them back would be a big deal. But it, it took me several hours to do this, I'll tell you. Part of that is just looking around for the right screwdriver. Now, when I opened up the uh, keyboard here, it popped right up, by the way. Once I got every screw out, I had no trouble lifting this off. But I can see in here, it's pretty dusty. So, whoever owned this digital piano did not really take good care of it. I noticed in the digital piano here, I found a guitar pick. And there's no telling what else I'm going to find in here. And I'm sure that the problem 
is that some little dirt got underneath one of these keys. So let me dig away and I'll be back. Okay, here we are. This is the one. So in order to get underneath here, I'm going to have to unscrew these screws. You can see right here where they are connected. So all these will just pull right out. All I have to do is undo those three screws. There were actually four screws here. Carefully take them out. Now, I'm going to have to pop this out, see how this works. Now that I've got this off, I can pull this back. And at this point, it seems everything has actually been much easier than I thought. I mean, taking out screws is tedious, but that is not very difficult. You just have to put in your time. And taking this off was just a matter of taking off four screws that fit in. The, there were four, by the way. And now I peel this off, and I can actually look underneath here and find out where my A key is was. Now I'm going to make sure that this is going to sound good before I go to the trouble of putting all this back together. Okay, let's play my piano. That is it right there. Put it back over here. C D E F G A This is B that is A it's this one That is the offensive one Okay, let's see what's underneath all this. Whoa! So what I did was I took a Q-tip, moistened it with saliva, Sorry to say, but I didn't want to put anything more uh, corrosive in there that I didn't know anything about. Then I, I cleaned out here. I wiped this area and also these little points here. I don't know if that's going to do the trick yet or not, but I'll know in a second before I put the thing back together. I have found quite a bit of dust human hair and other crud inside here and I'm thinking that this keyboard was probably in a dusty area which has caused the problem and the dust probably came through the uh, speaker holes or maybe even came through the key yes could have come right through here right through here. So
So, if you have a keyboard, keep it covered and don't let dirt get on it or you'll have the same problem I have. But anyway, we'll find out in a second. I'm going to reattach this. I don't know exactly how it goes back, but I don't think this will be too hard. Okay, the moment of truth. Yes, it was no problem putting the keys back in here. You just uh, look at it and see how it fits in there, and it just plop right in. A matter of less than a minute. Now, that's the moment of truth. Do you hear this? <laughs> I fixed it! Hallelujah! I would not have believed this. That was the bad one right there. Hallelujah! Well, all there is to do now is to clean out any other little debris I might happen to see under here. Put the top back on. Oh, tighten up my screws. I am so excited. Worked like a charm, and you saw it. To put the screws back in, all I have to do is turn this keyboard upside down on my sheet here and screw in the screws and put everything back together exactly as it was. I am so thrilled with the completion of this project. I feel really good. Like a day well spent. Well, I put it back together much easier, I must say, putting it back together than it was taking it apart. It, this job would have been 50% easier if I had had a long screwdriver, a long thin screwdriver with a magnetic tip. That would have helped a lot because there are screws back here that you have to uh, put in a little hole and unscrew those. So you need to have a little leverage, you need to have a long screwdriver. And magnetic tip would have helped a lot too. So that would have really uh, cut this work in half. Basically, to do the job I did today, the hardest part by far and the most time consuming was just taking out the screws on this keyboard. I do believe there's 56 of them. And when you turn the keyboard upside down, you can actually look all around here and see every screw that must come out. When you see it, that's going to have to come out. And that will also show you the uh, type of screwdriver you're going to need because you can just turn this upside down and look at it and see what you need to do. Where those screws are, uh, you, in that way, get your equipment before you start. Now, um, that's, that was pretty much it. I was so amazed at what happened here. And this is how I cleaned the uh, little things. I took a clean Q-tip <laughs> and that is how I cleaned those little things in there. I used, used it and it worked. I was amazed. Anyway, let's make sure the piano works and then I'll conclude this video. This is the key right here. Thanks for watching the video.